good for a notion salesman. Mark! Oh, Mark! Why not? What's the matter? It's old fashioned. Hey, Charlie, you're an animal salesman. Your firm give credit? No, sir. Or anybody else. River City. River City next. Cash for the merchandise. Cash for the button hooks. Cash for the cotton goods. Cash for the hard goods. Cash for the soft goods. Cash for the fancy goods. Cash for the noggins and the pickings and the furkins. Cash for the hogs, head casket, and damage on cash for the crackers and the pickles and the fly hammer. Look, what are you talking? 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 What are you getting? What are you talking? You can talk, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, 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 you can talk, you can talk. Talk, 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 bicker, 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 you can talk all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you got it in the territory. Flat small T4, made the trouble, made the people want to go, want to get, want to get, want to get up and go. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 22, 23 miles to the Kennedy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Who's going to patronize a little bitty 2 by 4 kind of store anymore? What are you talking? What are you talking? What are you getting? Not the model T at all. Take a gander at the store, at the modern store, at the present day store, at the present day modern departmentalized grocery store. What are you talking? 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 What are you getting? What are you talking? What are you talking? What are you talking? What are you getting? Talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, you can bicker, 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 you can talk, you can talk. Talk, 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 bicker, 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 you can talk all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, but you gotta know the territory. Why? It's you need a biscuit and a trouble. You need a, you need a, put the crackers in a package, in a package. The you need a biscuit and an tight sanitary package with a cracker, oh, obsolete, obsolete. Obsolete, obsolete, obsolete. Macamara went out the window with the mail pouch, cup club, charmed by the stove. Changed the approach of a traveling salesman. Made it pretty hard. No, it didn't, no, it didn't, but you gotta know the territory. God, God, God. With the hawk's head, casket, and demi John. Gone with the sugar barrel, put the barrel milk pan. Gone with the tub and the pail and the tears. Ever meet a fellow by the name of Hill? 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 No! Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute! Never heard of any sales in Hill. No, he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory? What's the fellow's line? Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line. Or the cracker barrel being obsolete, or the you need a biscuit and airtight sanitary package, or the Model T4. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute! Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line. Or a dog. Doggone thing, he's just a bank beat, bowery, a big paw, great gun, neck another great one. Every time I pull inside salesman, not the best for Harold Hill, Harold Hill. Tell us what's slime, what's slime. He's a fake and he doesn't know the territory. Look, what are you talking? What are you talking? What are you talking? What are you talking? He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rat right attack drums and the big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo, uniforms too, with the shiny gold braid on the coat and a big red stripe running. Well, I don't know much about bands, but I do know you can make a living selling big trombones. No, sir. Mandolin picks, perhaps, and here and there a juice heart. No, the fellow sells bands, boys' bands. I don't know how he does it, but he lives like a king, and he dallies, and he gathers, and he plucks, and he shines. And when the man dances, certainly boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, certainly boys. What else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he doesn't know the territory. Think that's funny? Wait till it happens to you. Your hair never grows back. Well, why should they get right out of town on a rail? Because, in order to sell band instruments and uniforms and instruction books, he has to guarantee to teach the kids how to play. Well? And to form them kids into a band with himself as the leader. What's wrong with that? He don't know one note from another. That's what's wrong with that. He can tell a bass drum from a pipe organ. I'll catch up with that swimming and two-bit them a rigger. And when I do, I'll school on him so loud. You're mad, Charlie. I just like to be around and catch up with that fella. Not on this trip. Not in Iowa. Not even the great Professor Harold Hill would dare settle the neck going Hawkeyes out here. Mark! Gentlemen, you intrigue me. I think I'll have to give Iowa a try. Don't believe I caught your name. Don't believe I dropped it.
drawers all day. And there I was in Madison Square Hospital and nobody come to see me. Uncle Will never come. Aunt Bertha never come. Your Aunt Bertha's dead. She wouldn't have come anyway. We can be called. Thank you. 
frittering away. I said, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away their noontime, summertime, chore time too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions pulled or the screen door back, she'll be the same kind of Never mind pumping any water till your parents are caught with a cistern empty on a Saturday night and that's trouble. Oh yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking about the kids in the knicker bar, shirt tails, young ones, picking in the pool hall, back to school, you got trouble. So it's right here in River City. of the right kind of parents. I'm going to be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on by the loafing around that hall that we're trying out Beagle, trying out Cubans, trying out tailor-made like cigarette fiends, and bragging all about how they're going to cover up a telltale breath of this sense. And one fine night, they leave, all headed for the dance at the armory, liberty men and scarlet women, and ragtime, shameless music to drag your son, your daughter, and the arms of the jungle. Possibly can. 
man. Don't get fast with you. Well, if you don't mind my saying so, it wouldn't have hurt you to find out what the gentleman wanted. I know what the gentleman wanted. What, dear? You'll find it in Balzac. Well, excuse me for living, but I never read it. Neither has anyone else in this town. There you go again with that same old comment about the low mentality of River City people and taking it all too much to heart. Now, Mama, as long as the mass of the public library is entrusted to me for the purpose of improving River City's cultural level, I can't tell my concern that the ladies of River City keep ignoring all my counsel and advice. But, darling, when a woman's got a husband and you've got none, why should she take advice from you? Even if you can't put Balzac and Shakespeare and all them other high food Greeks. Mama, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of changing every subject. No, I haven't changed the subject. I was talking about that stranger street with a suitcase who may be your very last chance. Mama, do you think good a love common masher now really? Mama, I have my standards where men are concerned, and I have no I know all about your standards, and if you don't mind my saying so, there's not a man alive who could hope to measure up to that blend of Paul of Bunyan, St. Pat, and no answer you concocted for yourself and your Irish imagination, your Iowa stubbornness, and your library full of books.
sure we're all grateful to my wife, Yuleni McKechnishin, for leading the singing, and to J.C. Squires for his fine stereo optic and slides. And to Ethel Toffelmeyer, our fine player, piano player, piano. As mayor of River City, I welcome you, River Citizens, to the 4th of July exercises set up indoors here in Madison Gymnasium, Account the Weather. <clears throat> Four score! <laughs> Four score and seven. The school board will now present a patriotic tableau. The school board will not present a patriotic tableau. Uh, some disagreement about costumes, I suppose. Instead, the Watan Yi girls of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will present a spectacle my wife. Uh, in which, my wife, Yuleli McKechnie Shin will be taking a leading role. Mrs. Shin will recover. No thanks to a certain young ruffian who is a disgrace to our city. <clears throat> Four score and s the Payne's fireworks spectacle, last days of Pompeii, will take place provided the rain stops by 9.30. They'll be out to Madison Picnic Park in the far meadow across the creek from the pest house. I believe you're ready. Didn't the Gazette predict the fair? Sure did, he heard. That's why we all prepared for a store. The Gazette's accurate most of the time, and you know it, JC. You wouldn't last very long in the baby business being accurate most of the time. Great lady again tonight. I make her early. She's late, all right. She's right on time. Smell with your watch. Smell with my watch. Oh, yes, it's 
said, a boy's band, do you hear me? I said, a river city's got to have a boy's band, and I mean she needs it today. Well, Professor Harold Hill's on hand. River City's going to have a boy's band. As sure as the Lord made little green apples, and that band's going to be in uniform. Johnny, Billy, Teddy, Fred, and you'll see the glimmer of crushing cymbals. And you'll hear the thunder of rolling drums, the shimmer of trumpets. ta da da And you'll feel something akin to the electric feeling I was enjoying. Wynne Gilmore, Liberati, Pat Conway, the great creator, W.C. Handy, and Sean Philip Susan all came to town on this very same historic day. Seventy-six strong bones left the big parade with a hundred and ten cornets close at hand. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuos the cream of every famous band. Seventy-six strong bones caught the morning sun with a hundred and ten coordinates right behind. There were more than a thousand reeds springing up like weeds. There were horns of every shape and kind. There were copper bonds and honey and horse platoons. Thundering, thundering, Uh, Constable, I'll be responsible for the boy. 
You don't know this kid. He's tough, and he's got his game waiting outside. Oh, I'll be careful. Uh, Tommy, I'd like to talk to you about the band. Ah, uh, gee, Professor, that's for the little kids. Well, I'm not talking about your playing in the band. You're mechanically minded, aren't you? Do anything with perpetual motion? <sighs> Nearly had it a couple times. You did? Well, then you're my man. Do you realize nobody has ever invented a music holder for a marching piccolo player? No place to hang the music. Gee, the I wonder where I can get some wire from. Check in your cellar. That's where people usually keep wire. Oh, Tommy. Yes, sir? Constable, I'll show you how to break up the gang. Uh, oh, young lady. Oh, miss. Uh, what's your name? Sunita. Why, well, I had no idea you was beckoning to me. <laughs> God. Do you know Tommy Gilles? Well, I... Tommy, this is Anita. Escort the young lady home. Oh, only accepting I'm not going home. I gotta get to the library. <laughs> God. Then escort the young lady home by way of the library, by way of the... Candy kitchen? Yes, sir. Do I have to? You have to. Yes, sir. You <laughs> got Professor, you're a pretty bright young fellow. You made a couple mistakes, though. No. Oh. The mayor happens on the billiard room and the new pool table. Oh. Well, what was my little mistake? That's Anita, the mayor's oldest girl. <laughs> Just a minute, Professor Hell. We'd like to have your credentials. We're the school board. Academic certificate. Nothing of the kind. We need letters and papers. We can put up a bond. What am I hearing? Say ice cream. Ice cream, but I don't sing, young man. That's what talk then. Down here, ice cream. Talk slow. Ice cream. See, see, it's only sustained talking. Now you. I thought you knew something about leading a band. 
Just like I used to imitate that uh, band concert fellow back in Joplin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, kid stuff. I'm in rare forms these days, son. Just keep your eye on me for the next four weeks. Four weeks? It used to only take you ten days to get the band instruments. Yeah, it still does. But it takes four weeks for the uniforms. Oh, no, Greg. You haven't had uniforms. Uniforms and instruction books. Instruction books? But you can't pass yourself off as a professor. <laughs> I mean, uh, not for any four weeks. Mars. But you don't know one note from another. I have a revolutionary new method called the thing. Or you don't bother with notes. <laughs> but after four weeks, the people will want to hear the music. You're gonna have to lead a band. But when the uniforms arrive, they forget everything else. At least long enough for me to call it down and leave. <laughs> oh, this is a refined operation, son. And I've got a time right down to the last wave of the breaking tan on the last train out of town. And now, Mr. Washburn? If you'll excuse me. Gonna line yourself up some canoodling, huh? Well. Uh, say, I can set you up with that little sister. A lovely girl. Teaches Sunday school. No wide-eyed, wholesome Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of girl spins webs no spider ever. Listen, boy. A girl who trades on all that purity. Merely wants to trade my independence for her security. The only affirmative she will file refers to marching down the aisle. No Goddess. No, sir, for no Diana do I play fun. I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss. How can ignorance be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz. For the lady who knows what time it is, I cheer. I rave for the virtue I'm too late to say. A sadder but wiser girl for me. Oh, you still got it. What's wrong? Child ties knots, no sailor ever knew. But I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No dewy youngness who keeps resisting all the time she keeps insisting. No wide eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, why she's a fisherman, I'm the fish you see. I flinch, I shy.
remained in this town till she came here. Old Miser Madison. Miser Madison? As in Madison Gymnasium? Madison Picnic Park? Madison Hospital? That Miser Madison? Exactly. Who'd he think he was, anyway? Well, I should say, show off. He gave the town the library, too, didn't he? That's just it. When he died, he left the library building to the city. But he left all the books to her. She was seen going and coming from his place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that woman made prayers ago to us. With a guilty guarantee. She had a golden wind in her eye and a silver voice with a catch between. Just melt her down and you'll reveal a lot of the light is cold as steel. Here, for a woman's heart should be.
a minute here. Are you still listening? You haven't got a license. Why, no, Mayor Shin. I collect doorbells on this particular specimen. Flattery will not avail you. Soliciting is statutory in this county. Malfeasance without a permit. Why have you been down to City Hall with your references? I just missed you. Uh, oh, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no. What? What? Uh, that spread of the little finger. It's hereditary. Oh, it is? What does that mean? It means that your son's little finger is perfectly situated to operate the spit valve on a B-flat flugelhorn. Is that good? Good? It means that America has at last produced an artist who can flug with a minute waltz in 50 seconds. Where can I get one of these horns? Sign here, Mr. Mayor. That'll be $17 in court fee. Yes, sir. Just think. <laughs> Why haven't got any son? You unscrupulous blue by night! You un- You'll be down to City Hall with your bike off papers by 3 o'clock! You mean this afternoon? I couldn't make myself any plainer if I was a waiter on his day off! <laughs> Same firm chin and those splendid cheek muscles by George. Well, not that it could be ever really great. You understand. Oh, is that so? And the neighbors say, Bridget, why not? Well, all the really great cornet players were Irish. O'Clark, Mendes, O'Clark. Oh, but Professor, we are Irish. No. <laughs> no. Really? Well, that clinches it. Sign here, Mrs. Peru. Your boy was born to play the cornet. Fine, fine. And that'll be seven dollars earnest money. Nothing more due until the first installment payable at opening of band practice. Ah, oh, thank you. And of course I'll need the boy's measurements for his band uniform. His uniform? <gasps> Hello there, son. That's right, his uniform. And there won't be a penny due until delivery, which gives him four weeks to enjoy, to anticipate, to imagine, at no cost, whatever. Never allow the demands of tomorrow to interfere with the pleasures and excitements of today. Would it have... A stripe? Why, certainly, my boy, a wide red stripe on each side. What do you think of that? You'll have to excuse Winthrop, Professor. We can't get him to say three words a day, even to us. But if you get him to play in that band, you'll have St. Michael's own way with you. If anybody can do it, I'll bet you can. Out of a crowd, I'll pick you for a hard carrying, clay pipe smoking, shamrock wearing, heart playing, maddening pinching, terrace hotter, minstrel, singing Irishman. Oh, be gobbin' be jobbers. Where are you from, me boy? Gary, Indiana. I knew it, Gary. Where did you say it? Gary, Indiana. In fact, Gary Conservatory is my alma mater. Was she now? Certainly. Gold medal class of all five. How do you do, Miss Peru? How do you do, Mr. Hill? Of course, Peru. I thought the name sounded familiar. I've tried to see you since. He wants to put Winthrop in the band. We're not interested, Mama. But Marion, the boy might have his mother's musical gift. He does have my jaw, you know. Oh, your husband musical? Why, well, I'd love to have a chat with him. You pushed in on everyone's home like this, prying into personal affairs. We're not interested, Marion. Well, that's one for and one against. Uh, why don't we let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. Anything else? Oh, I'm sorry. But that's all the weird reason why your brother should be. My have brother is a ten year old problem child who can't understand why his father was taken away. Would you care to explain it to him? He's been brooding about it for two years. As to your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnival man who sells gold painted watches and glass diamond rings? Musical tricks? Why, certainly, Miss. Get the feeling she likes the idea. <laughs> oh, a bit cautious, perhaps, but I admire that young woman. Just keep me alive, and I'll be back later in the week. Oh, what wrong, Professor? About the boy's measurements. I may go on his clothes. <clears throat> Steve 21, waist 18, crotch. Oh, fine, fine. That's all I need. Thank you. I must be getting back to the hotel. I do hope you'll excuse Mary. She's really not... Oh, don't you worry about a thing. I'm sure that Edward, she's as lovely as herself. 
Good day to you, Lord. And they hope not forever. Darling, don't you ever think of your future? Gary, Indiana, conservation, class of art five. Now, darling. Now, mom. Surely a girl's future just an dependent, encouraging every fast-talking, self-centered, woman-chasing, traveling man who comes to town. And the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress him. All right, darling, all right. Only it's a well-known principle that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in another, you'll never strike much of fire. Come on, Winthrop, Winthrop, I know you're there. Please go to the library and ask Miss Grubb to give you the book I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 through 1910. It's a large brown volume with black borders. Do I have to? You won't have to talk to anyone. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. Now what are you up to? Why do you need a book at this hour of the night? I have a feeling that the Indiana Journal may help me poke some large holes in the professor's claims. <sighs> well, I give up. At your age, if you don't mind my asking, what kind of white knight do you expect to come riding along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Minor, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does? Or Ed Gamage, and that buggy of his at the removable back seat. I'm not waiting for a man in shiny white armor.
Now, is that the first thing I said, or isn't it? Yes, George. Yes. Get that spellbinder's credentials, or I need hay with a horse. Morning of July 4th, 1912. And now look, my wife's dancing at any all hours of the day instead of in the home. The school board singing up street and down alley instead of tending to city matters. My oldest girl's off boodling about with some wild kid, and my business has fallen so far off, I can't even find the balance sheet. Mayor Shin, I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. Oh, I know all about that. In fact, that's the only thing I can get out of him. Gary Conservatory, class of Ox 5. If you'll just take time to read a little bit about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look further. Papa, the Wells Fargo wagon is just coming out from the depot. A likely story. At this hour of the day, nonsense. The Wells Fargo wagon. The new band instruments. The band instruments. Ladies' Dance Committee meets Tuesday nights at the high school. 